thoughtful summer is just around the corner, and if you like to grill out, you'll want to hear this. News 3's Daniel Hall has the details on why it may cost you more for those hot dogs and hamburgers this summer. Carla, almost all meats are nearing record high prices because of supply and demand. But now something at the gas pump is also to blame. Mike Taglio has been in the butcher business for more than 40 years, and he says the cost of meat is nearing the highest he's ever seen. They're about $2 below what the peak has been since I've been here. Uh, I would say, just guessing, they might go up a little bit more. The cost of pork is at a 14-year high. The price of beef is up almost one-fourth of what it was last year, and in March, the cost of chicken was the most expensive it's been in almost two years. Meat prices are so high because the cost of corn is up and because there's less corn for farmers to feed their livestock. The trouble is, even the, 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 the corn is not an infinite resource. It, it, it has a, 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 an end and, and there are uh, other uses for corn. Less corn is available to farmers and prices are higher partly because of the ethanol additive in gasoline. Uh, the market is growing for you know, beef and things, uh, areas that consume a lot of corn and for ethanol. Um, and there's only so many acres of ground. A third of the corn planted in 2009 was used to make ethanol. That number is up 10% from 2008. The use of ethanol has driven the price of meat and corn up, but has not lowered the prices at the gas pump. In fact, it has had a very little effect on the price of fuel. But some believe using corn to make ethanol is not worth the price increases. If we're using 10% now and everybody is up in arms because they think ethanol is raising the prices of beef in the supermarket, imagine what it's going to do if we ever get to 100%. If we start taking uh, a resource that we depend on, frankly, for our food and start using it to run our cars, uh, that might not be the wisest uh, use of, of our resources. Now some gas stations, like the co-op in Murfreesboro, don't even offer ethanol gasoline. They say their customers believe gasoline without ethanol runs better in their vehicles. Thanks, Danielle. Well, experts say that meat isn't the only product nearing record high prices. Gasoline prices could also be at an all-time high in the summer months. That was good, didn't you? Thank you. Grilling out steaks and hamburgers this summer is likely to cost you more than in years past, and you may be surprised to find that corn is to blame. While farmers are planting more acres of corn, the demand is now at an all-time high, driving up prices. One reason for the increase in demand is that it's now being used for both food and to make the gasoline additive ethanol. Farmers are also dependent on their corn to feed livestock. You've got, uh, you've got a lot of corn going into beef production, you've got a lot of corn going into dairy production, chicken, uh, hog, you know, pork, you know, your pork chops, they eat a lot of corn too. As the price of corn rises, the price of meat must also rise because it's costing farmers more to feed their livestock. Right now, meat prices are about $2 less than their peak, but they're expected to continue rising during the summer months.